good evening friends welcome to engineering clinic today we are going to see a video on how to install ubuntu which we call windows subsystem for linux wsl in windows 11 operating system already uh, in my channel there is one video on windows 10 but many users were asking how to install ns3 in windows 11 so this is one instruction uh, which i am just giving you so what you can do is uh, i have installed a fresh installation of windows 11 and in this, I am going to install WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux. Open a command prompt and you will be getting a command prompt like this. Simply type WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux. After that, this process will uh, install some packages and it will be enabling the Windows Subsystem for Linux. After it is enabled, you have to check how many operating system or distributions are available supported by Windows using this command WSL double hyphen list double hyphen online if you see that there are multitude of uh, operating system being supported i am going to install ubuntu 24.04 in case if you want to use kali linux like penetration testing linux that also you can able to install within windows now give this command after that it will be downloading uh, the window ubuntu operating system directly to your windows os now these commands what i have just given I'll be giving uh, giving below the description window. You can use the copy paste option. It is a very simple process, which you can able to do it just within less than ten minutes. You can able to install, and uh, here is it. Now, once it is done, we have to reboot our operating system. So let me reboot it, uh, restart the machine. After restarting it, we just open the terminal again. Give the same command and WSL space double hyphen list install space ubuntu hyphen 24.04 so wrongly put as equal to now we can use ubuntu hyphen 24.04 once you do that this will be installing it and it will be asking for the username and password so don't forget this username and password because for any package uh, download installation you have to provide the username and password so now the username i am inputting as pradeep kumar and I'm giving the password two times to confirm it is the same one. So new password and uh, confirm one more time with the what password you are typing. So once it is done, yes, you are set the terminal of Ubuntu have come. Now in this Ubuntu terminal, you can able to try out all the commands that is possible for Ubuntu. Even you can use GUI also is there. You can able to try. Okay, now you can see. Uh, in uh, first to check whether what kind of Ubuntu OS it is been downloaded and installed, you can able to try this command. Okay, now we can see. First, you can use sudo apt update so that the entire aptitude package manager will be updated. And first try out this command. So the first command you have to try out is sudo apt update. That is the command to update all the packages. The second command is cat slash etc slash star hyphen release. Without any gap, just give that. And uh, you can see that what happens. It will be telling you the complete information about Ubuntu operating system. So we can able to use uh, the popular editor called as uh, gedit which is similar like notepad but it has uh, uh, beautiful features like uh, syntax highlighting and other things it's a powerful editor so for editing any program any uh, file you can able to use gedit for that so gedit file.c you can create this might take some time first time to get opened it in case if you don't want to use gedit you can able to use other editor called as uh, nano and vam so that also you can able to use these editors so you can increase the font decrease the font so uh, just I am just showing you uh, Ubuntu not only in terminal you can able to use the Ubuntu native GUIs also within Windows so in that case this is uh, having two operating system in a uh, single thing but actually the RAM will be shared among Windows and Linux operating system so slightly you may experience a slight uh, experience delay or performance delay in Windows OS when you use both uh, operating system but it is it is one of the easiest and comfortable method to use it so you can use able to use gedit nano or vim so using ubuntu within windows is a easy process just within 5 10 minutes you can able to install it thanks for watching my video and subscribe to my channel thank you very much